Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shawl Craft One and my old barn door. And I just came to do uh, a little haul um, of a couple of shops that I bought from on Etsy. And so I just wanted to kind of share it with you. This, <coughs> excuse me, this came from um, Renee with lots of bubbles for me. And I went on there, I found her through Gail, and I went on there and um, did some shopping. So, um, I bought some papers, and look how pretty she wrapped it. Isn't that sweet, the way she wrapped it? This is awesome. Okay, I'm just going to pull this out of here. Sorry about the glare. Look how pretty she wrapped it with the pretty yellow, uh, not yellow, <laughs> it's a green ribbon. So pretty. I'm just going to untie it. Alright, and this is her shop. Um, pretty papers, pretty ribbons. Lots of bubbles for me. And Puppy Love Paper Hearts is her blog spot. So, I love I love that. So, I guess these are... Um, I didn't order these, so these must be freebies. Look how pretty. It's good thick paper. Oh my goodness, I'm in love. How pretty is that? That's gorgeous. This is an authentic. Um, Beloved Five is the paper name. And then there's this one. It's an authentic. And it's called Beloved Three, I guess. That's very pretty. These are good colors for Valentine's Day. Thank you, Renee. This one is Beloved Six by Authentique. Super cute. I love these. This inspires me to make a Valentine journal. This one's called Beloved One. Ooh, that's cute with the anchors with the hearts in them. I like that. Alright, so let's open this up. Look how neatly she wrapped this. She's got it so pretty, I don't even want to unwrap it. <laughs> what a great job, Renee. <laughs> Y'all don't laugh at me. I save everything. So, I'm going to save my tissue paper. <laughs> okay. Let me just set my tissue paper over here. And then, I'm going to pull my pretty ribbon out. Look how pretty. This one is called Blush. And I guess, for each item or each um, listing that you purchase, you get two sheets. So, I got two sheets of this one. This is the front. I'm hoping you guys can see the whole sheet of paper. Sorry for shaking you. So this is the front, and then this is the back. How pretty is that? I mean, how do you choose between which side to use? That's gorgeous, isn't it? Isn't that pretty? So I got two of those. And then I got this one. I love the little boy and little girl. I guess it's supposed to be a young man and woman. This one is called Lover's Lane. Um, it looks like Courtship Lane is the maybe the paper name. Oh, it's Blue Fern. This is Blue Fern Studios. So maybe Courtship Lane is the line, like the pack of paper that it comes in. But look at the back. How pretty is that? Love it. Love, love, love it. Very pretty. So I got two of those. Oh, look at this one. This one's called Flower Bed. It's by Blue Fern Studios, too. And it looks like the name of the collection is Garden Life. That's very pretty. And this is the back of it. Love that. Super pretty papers. Oh, now see, I love, love, love this one. This one is the Homespun Collection, which I love homespun stuff. Um, this one's called Homestead. Look how pretty. Y'all know I love me some farmhouse style stuff. So, <laughs> and then that's the back of that one. Super pretty papers. I'm very excited to use these. Oh, this one's from the Homespun Collection too. It's got the pretty little floral decorations on the side and like a lattice or... Um, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like a lattice or if it's supposed to be like a window. Not very sure, but it's super pretty. I love it. Oh, and look. 
the back of it you get four different types of papers I love that that's awesome okay this one is called tweet melody um, I guess the pack is amber and apricot but look at the birds how pretty and there's a little bird's nest I love this but I love 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 this <laughs> look at the gorgeous roses how pretty are those super pretty oh, I love it okay and this one is called spring posy looks like it comes from the attic charm collection I could clearly easily get addicted to these papers <laughs> I'm loving the Blue Fern Studio. I've seen them before, but I've never gotten any, I don't think. And then she had this Graphic 45. Um, this is from the Fairy Dust Collection. It's called Tiny Toadstools. We just love the little mushrooms. Super cute. And then on the back side, you have um, purple with like little dots and stars and swirls. So super pretty paper. So y'all go check her out. Um, she's got loads and loads and loads of paper over there. So again, here is her Etsy. It's called Lots of Bubbles for Me at Etsy.com. So you guys go check her out. So that's what I got from Renee. And then I ordered some more stuff. Y'all know I always order from Selena. And so um, I got two boxes in the mail this week and I just haven't had time to... Um, to do the video on them so but this I, I did I did cheat and look because I was excited to get them so <laughs> so this was actually tied up in this strip of fabric which I stinking love this fabric look at that does that not scream Shawcraft one or what <laughs> old barn door and then look at this I got this for my Holly Hobby journal how pretty is that fabric gorgeous gorgeous let me see if I can get it up close look at those tiny little flowers of course y'all know me I love florals and I love I just think that the little tiny flor flowers are you know they give it like a country feel and then check this out this is what that strip was let's see if I can get it unfolded look how cool that is look at the church I love the buildings together and then you got the horses you've got wagon or a um, stagecoach couldn't think of the name of it I just love this pattern I think it's so cool and I think I might try to make a journal cover out of this I think it would be a really really cool journal cover so I got that and then I told her I wanted some of the um, the quilted red, white, and blue um, fabric that she found. Y'all, look at how stinking cute this is. Oh my gosh. I mean, look at that quilt work. I mean, it's machine stitched, but oh my goodness, how pretty is this? I was so excited to get this. I just absolutely fell in love with this. So I can't wait. And she sent me like so much. Like this is it's this oops sorry didn't mean to hit you <laughs> anyway it's it's huge i mean it's um you could actually make like a lap quilt out of how much she sent me so selena thank you so much i love it and i love you more and then of course she sent me the baby blanket look how stinking cute this is y'all look at that oh my gosh how precious are these little kids? Look at that. Oh my gosh, just so stinking cute. Hang on, my phone's doing something funky over here. Okay. But it's so cute. And look, at the edges, I don't know if you can tell, but it's got just a tiny little bit of like thread sewn in there. So stinking cute. What a cute idea. So, she did tell me that um, at the bottom it needed a little work, so um, I can fix that. If I decide that I want to use it for my grandbaby, but she's getting so big till, I don't know if, um, oh look, it's got kitty cats. There's different designs. I thought it was all the same one. Look how adorable. 
Look at the little boy on the blue horse. I love that. Oh. So anyways, not sure what I'm going to do with this yet, but it is so stinking cute. I just love it. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Lena. And then I ordered a bunch of books, y'all. <laughs> I got some of the coolest books. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to show you. <clears throat> Check this out. It took me a minute to figure this out. These Bibles read backwards from what I understand so you have to turn it over this way and I love 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 that it's got someone's notes in it and I haven't had a chance to read the notes but they're they're kind of hard to read um, but I believe yeah so here's the beginning of the Bible and it's in the back so how cool is that so, um, my husband's partner, see here, this is Genesis. So, you go from front to back. And from what I understand, I think you read from right to left. But I'm not positive. My husband's partner has a master's in Hebrew. He knows how to speak it and everything. He knows how to read it. So, I'm going to take this to him and see if he can kind of give me a little bit of information on it. And, um, but just how awesome, awesome, awesome is this? Oh, I love this. And somewhere in here, there is, there it is. Someone paper clipped on this cool black and white picture. And then notes from, looks like Psalms. But it's in a different language. How cool is that? I almost think it's French. But I'm not positive. But how neat is that? So I'm leaving that in there for now. Because I just think it's too cool to take it out. So not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. Um, <clears throat> but I'm just in love with this. So that's my Hebrew Bible. Then I got this. And again, you have to read it backwards. Um, and I, I don't know if this is Hebrew as well. Yeah, Hebrew Publishing Company. The copyright's 1923. Ah, stinking love this. This looks like children's stories because it has the little, um, like the little pictures and the graphics and stuff. Maybe even some poems, and it might even be children's rhymes. How stinking cool is that? I was so excited to get these. Yay! I love them. They're just so cool and so unique. So, I just think this is awesome. Awesome, awesome. So, thank you, Selena. Alright, and then I got... I actually got a lot of books. So, I'm just going to pull a few out. I got the Elson Readers, book two... Look how pretty the inside cover. I'm totally going to make a journal out of this cover. This would make such a pretty journal. But look at this. I love the colors. And I love how yellow the pages are. But I also love how thick the pages are. The pages are just so yummy. I mean, they're a good thick. And they're not shiny. But they're not matte either. They're kind of, um, I guess in terms of paint, they'd be like a semi-gloss. <laughs> That's the only way I know how to describe them. <laughs> but look how pretty. I love these images. And I love the typesetting. I just love everything about this little book. Let me see if I can find a copyright. Copyright 19. Looks like the latest one is 1927. So, love, 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 love this book. And then, of course, she sent me a Raggedy Ann and Andy and the Rainy Day Circus. So, I think I may combine a Raggedy Ann and a circus book together and just make it super cute. But I love the images or the illustrations in this. I remember reading this book as a kid. This right here, for some reason, I always loved this page. I loved his striped legs. <laughs> So, I just always thought this was such a super cute little book. So, 
brings back a little bit of nostalgia. And then I got the standard treasury of learning. Um, it's like a, a dictionary for young people is what it says. And look at how pretty. Y'all, these pages remind me of the 60s version of the Childcraft books. Like the really, really good ones that have the Eloise Wilkin illustrations in it and stuff. That's what these pages remind me of. And it has that... It has that really old book smell. Look at how pretty. And it's got just great, great illustrations of butterflies. Um, there's, I believe there's birds. I love the dictionary portion of it. How cool are these dictionary pages? I mean, I love that the um, main word is in red. Super, super cool. And then in the front, you get birds. How pretty are those? Look at that. I love the chickadees in the pink. Look at the hummingbird. Such pretty illustrations in this book. So, it looks like the copyright on this one is 1957 is the latest year that I see. So, love that. Then I got a raggedy hand coloring book. How cool is this? Let me see if there's a copyright on it. Of course there is. It's in Roman numerals. <laughs> But I love the fact that some little kid colored some of the pages. Oh, I'm so in love with that. I love that so much. I mean, look how stinking cute. And whoever colored these, they did a good job coloring. <laughs> so I, you will definitely be seeing some of these pages. And look at that. I mean, look at what a good job they did. So you'll be seeing some of these pages in some of my journals. I just love these. So look how stinking cute she is. Oh, it's a cutout doll. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love. Oh, how cute is she? Love it. Okay, and then uh, she found this. It took me forever to get her to realize which binder journal I was looking for. Um, it's a ring binder. And I just love, love, love the cover. Such a pretty cover. Like, I would I would make a journal out of this and not do anything to the cover. If I wanted to make it something other than recipes, I would probably cover this. But I don't think that I would. I would. I think I would just go ahead and make it a recipe journal. But look, it's got somebody's handwritten recipe in here. And then all of these tabs are laminated. And then you have... Um, you have these little sheets here. I'll show you the sheets. There's more. Here we go. Um, they're like little sheets for your recipes to slip into. And then I guess this is for the titles. Not real sure. Um, but they put their name in it. These recipes are from Barbara Zaring Painter, the Zaring Family, and Olive Trotter Painter Family. How cute is that? I love it. And then you go back here and you have some of the recipe cards so you just kind of tear them out so how cool are those love that so and then in the back you have more these look like they're more of a cream color if they're not cream color then they're very yellow but there's a difference in the colors of them so it needs a little bit of cleanup but i can definitely do that the binder is in really good shape it's good and tight so so stinking cute look at that I love it. So I got that ring binder. And then I have several more in here. Y'all, y'all know me and my nursery rhymes. I love me some nursery rhymes, but this one is beautiful. I love the size of it, and I'm probably going to make a journal out of the, the actual cover because I'm in love with this book. Look at the illustrations in this book. Let me see if I can scoot these over a little bit. Look at that. I mean, how pretty are these illustrations? I love, love, love this book. Let me see if I can find the copyright date. Uh, of course. Oh, 1973. Okay. <laughs> it has them in Roman numerals here, so it might be... 19... I think it's 1973. 
So anyways, but look, I'm just going to do a quick flip. I even love the, the index pages. I mean, how cute are they? These are just the cutest, cutest. So I'm going to be making some kits probably out of this one. This one's probably going to be a ripper. Look at the illustrations in this book. I love the colors. It's definitely Scream 70s. Oh, look, that'd be cute for Holly Hobby. <laughs> or Prairie Girl. I'm going to have to start calling it Prairie Girl because I don't want to be infringing on anybody's rights, you know, copyrights or anything like that. So maybe I'll call it a Prairie Girl um, journal instead of a Holly Hobby journal. But it's the same difference, guys. <laughs> But look at the illustrations in this book. I absolutely love, look at the bird with a hat on it. How cute is he? Love, love, love this book. So I'm just going to flip through fairly quickly here. We're almost to the end, but I didn't want the video to be too, too long. But I just love, love, love. Selena finds some of the best books. Oh, I just love these illustrations. <coughs> Excuse me. I guess um, maybe some years old dust from the books <laughs> kind of got me. Got a little tickle in the throat there. So, yes, I'm in love with these book pages. So, I'll be making some journals with this and some kits. So, y'all be looking out for them. Love it. So, that's that one. And then I got the Rand McNally book of favorite Christmas stories I would use this as a journal cover for sure and look y'all I collect Gone with the Wind stuff now I don't have a whole lot because I don't have a lot of room for a whole lot but Gone with the Wind is my all-time most favorite movie um, in the world I love 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 Gone with the Wind I can sit down and watch Gone with the Wind every day if I had the time because it's a very long movie but <clears throat> love that movie so I told her I, I saw where she had these of you know movie stars and stuff and they're just little newspaper clippings but that's okay um it looks like they are pages from someone's scrapbook is what it looks like because it's got that kind of scrapbooky type paper it's real that really really thin paper so she sent me all of these little old pictures look oh my gosh this is one of my favorite pictures of clark gable and vivian lee isn't she just absolutely stunning She's just, uh, I just love her. So, Scarlet was always my very favorite. I'm trying to get one of my children to name one of their children Scarlet, but none of them are cooperating with me so far, so we'll see. <laughs> so, anyways, she sent me these. And I'm going to sit those right there for a second. Look at the, look at how stinking cute the inside covers of this book is how adorable are these and i love the illustrations and the pictures and the little stories in here so such a cute and now i've already done all the christmas journals that i'm going to do for this christmas but this one will be on the agenda for next christmas so i love 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 these pages and actually some of these pages would make really super cute um children's envelopes wouldn't they like the book page envelopes so that's the christmas one and then she spoiled me and sent me something super 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 special well the first thing she sent me is this it is a um it's a, a planner um and it's for 2017 but i'm gonna um, do some work in it and kind of change things up so that I might can, but look how pretty that cover is. Is that cover not gorgeous? Just that beautiful, deep, deep red, and it zips. It's a very, very nice, nice cover. And then she sent me this as a birthday gift, y'all. So how super cool is this? You got Bible promises in here, place for notes. So, yeah, I, there's going to be something I'll do with this. I'm not sure exactly yet what, um, but I'm going to get creative with it. So, love, love, love this. So, thank you, thank you, thank you, Selena, very, very much. And then, last but not least, definitely not, not least, y'all, look at this. 
how stunning is this Bible? Oh my goodness. Just beautiful. This is the prettiest Bible I think I've ever seen. Look at this. This is, it's metal. It's like a metal ornate piece. And it's got the gilding with the beautiful burgundy red. And I believe this is blue. My eyes are kind of, yeah, it's blue. <laughs> My eyes don't do real well when it comes to deep dark colors. So, um, maybe that's why I like bright colors so much. But look how beautiful this Bible is. I mean, just gorgeous. And it's huge. It's like a family Bible. So, it's nine... By about 11 and a half or 11 and look look how pretty it, it's this almost feels like fabric and it may be fabric I'm not real sure but it's it might be fabric adhered to paper but it's just beautiful so you have all of your you know your family tree stuff in the front um, I love how this book smells too it's awesome and then you have your Bible pages, and then I want to, um, I want to kind of lift up and flip. I love the red letter stuff, but look at the book plates that are in here. How pretty are these book plates? And they even have it in, I don't know if it's Hebrew or Greek. I'm assuming, I'm, in, I'm assuming it's one or the other, but just absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous book plates in this Bible so pretty so um yeah there's um there's multiple book plates in here i mean just super cool this is the coolest bible ever i stinking love it so thank you this was um a gift she sent me because she knows how much i love things like this so let me just go right here because i think yeah there's more book plates here. I've got one dog eared. Close that down on that. So we have the book plates here. Look how pretty. I love these. These are gorgeous. My husband had a fit over this when I showed it to him. And then. So I guess there's like 40 book plates in it, but just so, so pretty. This is the, such a pretty Bible. I love this. So thank you, Selena. Thank you very, very much for loving on me with this precious, precious gift. So those are my goodies that I got from Selena at Amore Fabrics. I'll put her link below and Renee at Lots of Bubbles for me. I will put her link below as well and you guys go check them out they have great great stuff selena finds some really good vintage stuff so um go check them out thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe you can leave any comments or questions you have below and i hope you guys have an amazing day thanks for watching big hugs